Hello and welcome to Basic Chemistry. Topic of our study is photochemistry. In photochemistry, we are going to study thermal reaction, photochemical reaction, difference between thermal and photochemical process, grothus draper law, and Stark Einstein law of photochemical equivalence. Let us discuss thermal reaction. We are familiar with the thermal reaction. Generally, these reactions occur by the absorption of heat energy from the outside. Take an example. Consider a reacting vessel containing reaction mixture. If we heat this reaction mixture, what happens? The molecule present in the reacting mixture acquire energy. They get energized. And do uh, so they are in a motion during their motion they collide with one another and chemical reaction takes place due to collision the chemical reaction takes place the reacting molecules are energized and molecular collision become e effective and this collision is responsible for bringing out the chemical reaction so the reaction which are caused by absorption of heat energy are called as thermal reaction. The reaction which is caused by absorption of heat energy is known as thermal reaction. Now let us discuss photochemical reaction. What the photochemical reaction means? The reactions proceed by absorption of light radiation belong to visible and ultraviolet light. So this reaction mostly carried out by absorption of light radiations which are belongs to visible and ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Take an example. If there is a reacting vessel containing reaction mixture, if light falls on that particular reacting mixture, if red, a light radiation falls on the reacting mixture, the amount of light get absorbed by the molecule that amount of light get absorbed by the molecule. After the absorption of light, the molecules get energized and they get excited to higher energy level. That excited molecule are responsible to bring the chemical reaction. This reaction occur by the absorption of light. So this reaction is known as photochemical reaction. A reaction which takes place by the absorption of visible and ultraviolet radiation is called as photochemical reaction. Let us discuss the difference between thermal and photochemical process. Difference between photochemical and thermal reaction. The first point of difference is this in case of photochemical reaction as we studied earlier these involve in the absorption of light radiation and thermal reactions involve absorption or evolution of heat energy it is occurred by the absorption and evolution of heat second point of difference is in photochemical reaction these are absorbed by the absorption uh, they are occur by the absorption of light radiation so the presence of light is primary requirement for the reaction to take place the presence of light is must to reaction to take place but in case of thermal reaction if the heat supply the heat to the reaction that reaction can take place in the dark as well as in the light so thermal reactions can take place in the dark or it can take place in a light. The third point of difference is since the photochemical reaction is occurred by the absorption of light radiation, so temperature has very little or no effect on the rate of reaction. Temperature has very little or no effect on the rate of reaction. But in a thermal reaction, temperature has significant effect on the rate of reaction. By every increase in a 10 degree Celsius, rate of reaction may be twice. That much influence of temperature on the thermal reaction. So temp uh, temperature has a significant effect on the rate of thermochemical reaction. Next point of difference is delta G, which is commonly called as Gibbs free energy 
for photochemical reaction may be increased or decreased. But in case of thermal reaction, delta G that is gives free energy negative means it is always decreases. Next is photochemical reaction or photochemical activation is highly selective in nature. The absorbed photon excited a particular atom or group of atoms which become the site of reaction. It is highly selective. But thermochemical reaction is not so selective in nature. It is not selective in nature. These are the point of differences between thermal and photochemical process. Now let us discuss laws of photochemistry. There are two basic laws governing the photochemical reaction. One is grothus draper law commonly known as first law of photochemistry and second one is Stark-Einstein law which is known as the second law of photochemistry. Let us discuss grothus draper law. Consider a reaction, a reaction, a reacting vessel containing reaction mixture. If light fall on the reacting mixture, if light incident on the reacting mixture, what happens? Some quantity of light get absorbed and some quantity of light get transmitted to the reaction and some amount of light reflect back from the reacting mixture. Whenever light incident or fall on the reacting mixture, some quantity, some amount of light get absorbed, some amount of light get transmitted and some amount of light get reflect during the reaction. So whatever the quantity of light get absorbed in the chemical reaction, that only effective in bringing about the chemical changes. That transmitted and reflected light does not involve in a chemical reaction. Only the absorbed part of light are involved in a chemical reaction. That law is known as grothus draper law. So the grothus draper law which is known as first law of photochemistry, it is said that only the absorbed light radiations are effective in producing a chemical reaction. This law is known as grothus draper law or first law of photochemistry. Next is Stark-Einstein law of photochemical equivalence. Stark and Einstein studied the quantitative aspect of photochemical reaction by application of quantum theory of light. They noted that each molecule taking part in the reaction absorb only the single quantum or a photon of light. Remember in a grothus draper law there is, uh, there is no explanation about the quantitative relationship between the amount of light absorbed or the number of molecules undergoing the chemical reaction that is explained in the Stark-Einstein law of photochemical equivalence. Consider the reacting mixture. If light incident on that reacting mixture the amount of light get absorbed. So the one photon get absorbed by the one molecule and it undergo the excited state and that molecule finally converted into the product. So each molecule absorbed one proton to undergo a chemical reaction. Each molecule taking part in a reaction absorb only a single quantum or a single photon of light. The Stark-Einstein law, which is commonly known as second law of photochemistry, it is said that the photochemical reaction, each molecule of a reacting substance absorbs a single photon of radiation and is activated to form a product. For example, there is a molecule A. If it absorbs light radiation photon H mu, then it gets excited to the higher energy level. This excited molecule of A, which is at higher energy level, that gets converted to the product B. Overall, we can say that the molecule A, after the absorption of one photon of radiation, it is converted to product B. 